We lift up our hands and worship him and magnify him. Wherever we are, we glorify his name and adore him because he is worthy. Almighty Lord, we extol your name, we magnify you, we adore you, we declare there is none but you. You are worthy of all praise, you are highly lifted up. You reign and rule in power, in glory, in majesty. Who is like thee, O oh, our God, you are worthy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love and is it single Lord? Thank you, Lord, for your masses that endure forever. Morning by morning, your masses we see. Almighty Lord, your loving kindness every morning, your faithfulness every day. We magnify you. We adore you. We thank you for who you are in our lives. We thank you for another great moment that you have given us. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of salvation, the gift of the Spirit. Lord, you have done great and marvelous things. Our hearts are excited and glorify your name and magnify your name. You are worthy. We, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Receive our heartfelt praise. Receive all the honor and adoration, dear Lord. Who is like thee, Lord, among gods? Who is like thee, O Lord? You alone are worthy. You alone are highly lifted up. You are our refuge, our fortress, our hiding place, our fortress of mighty Lord, our comfort, our stay, our habitation, our life, our victory, oh dear Lord. You are our father. You are our friend. We give you the praise, King Jesus. We thank you for the finished work of the cross. We thank you for the blood that is speaking better things. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. We thank you for the victory. Thank you for fighting our battles. Battles that we knew about and battles that we will never know about. Mighty Lord. Thank you, Lord, be glorified. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. Oh, Ramahan Zembredio Setelimbredia. Reko Zatela Bashel Embredia Ziza. Hela Bashete Limbredio Sute Limbredia. We worship your king. We acknowledge you as the Lord. We magnify you, Lord. In Jesus' greatest mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. We give the Lord a mighty hand of praise wherever you are. This is a great, wonderful evening that the Lord has given us. It is a wonderful thing to come to you at this particular hour of the day to glorify the Lord that he has been so faithful once again. I want you to know that if you can see me on the social platform, you can hear my voice. Unaweza kunisikia kule katika radio JJV 97.1 Nataka ujua ya kwamba You are a living testimony Because you are alive by the hand of God And therefore let everything that has breath Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Praise ye the Lord Because he has been gracious and wonderful And has been working wonderful things In our lives And we magnify him this evening all of you that are joining us uh, on the social platform that is a FB live and those that are joining us on the radio, you are most welcome. This is Great Gospel Visioners and this is Bishop Patrick Karaoke. I'm grateful to the Lord and also very, very privileged to come to you at this particular hour of the day as we continue with the seminar that we began yesterday by the grace of God. I want you to know that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. There is no greater thing at a time like now when the, when the foundations of the earth are shaken, when the very core of nations is shaken and many things really falling disarray. There is no greater thing that we can have a time like now, like the opportunity to hear the word of God. Bible says all things shall pass away, but the word of God shall be forever, shall remain forever, shall remain forever. And therefore we continue declaring victory. And we know as a nation, the nation of Kenya, and also as a human race, that the Lord is giving us victory. And our prayer continues to, to continue declaring. And, and yesterday I was meditating and making some prayer. And this what I had the Spirit of the Lord speak to me. That we as believers 
we must stop blaming God at time like now. We must stop blaming God. Many Christians think the current situation about the corona, it is God made. I want you to know, yes, God knows about it, but it is not, it was not, and it was never engineered by God because it is not a good thing. It is not a good thing to the nations and to the people of God, and therefore it can never be of God. I want you to know that Satan is behind the whole thing, and wicked men also. Those that are able to follow me on my wall, on the social platform, on Facebook, I was able to let us know that we are dealing with Satan and wicked men. Satan himself and wicked men behind what is happening in our time. And therefore, our thing is not to blame God. Stop blaming God. God, why have you brought this? It is not God that has brought the situation. It is not God that has brought the trouble. It is God that is solving the problem. God is not the reason of our grief. God is not the reason of our troubles. God is the reason of He's the reason of our good, and He is the ultimate answer and hope. And therefore, before I bring the word of God, I want to appreciate every one of you that were able to listen. And we continue declaring victory in Jesus' mighty name. Because Satan is defeated and his wicked plans will never succeed in the name of Jesus. I want to also appreciate every one of you that you've been able to follow. And you've been able to follow the teachings on Facebook. Napia Katika Radio 97.1. Na tumekuwa na shuhuda, kuna shuhuda kadha ambazo mungu wa mefanya. Mambo maku ambayo mungu wa mefanya katika maisha yetu na kuweza kukonfirm the word that we are receiving here. I'm telling you only that time, um, I, I, we do not have a one-on-one -on -one or face-to-face -face interaction, but the spirit of God is not bound and the word of God is not bound and God has been doing great and wonderful things even last week and also the weeks. I want us to receive some testimonies, uh, a few of them for now because of time. I want to receive, I want us to receive my daughter underline. She is going to tell us what the Lord has been doing, confirming the word. Uh, thank you so much, daughter. Please let us know what the Lord has been doing even to this program. Amen. We thank God because of what he is doing even over this period of time. And to our first testimony, someone is saying, Hello, Pastor. I have received Jesus Christ as my personal Savior through you for praying for us last week. I am wow. immaculate from Larry. Wow, we thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. People Amen. are getting saved. Amen. Someone else is saying, Praise the Lord, man of God. I have received a testimony of God's perfection in my health through the Holy Communion. You remember we took a Holy Communion last week? And she's saying, I have been feeling pain, painful, so painful swell in my breast, in my right breast. Anytime I felt the pain, I refused to confess negatively, but found myself declaring it shall be well with me. During the Holy Communion service last week, it happened that together with the prior feeling, there was a sharp pain around the diaphragm. As Bishop was directing us to prepare the elements, I did it by faith. To God's glory, the pain left me. The lamp is no more. I bless the Lord. Oh. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. That was a healing of the lamp. Yes, Last sir. week, yes, sir. we give glory to God. Amen. Amen. And someone else is saying, praise the Lord, I have been born again through GGVFM kupitia neno lako bishop. Asante wow. sana, asante <laughs> sana. Wow, wow. Uyo naitua nani? Ajetupa jina lakini nambari ya simu tunayo. Wow, yes, asante sir. sana. <laughs> yes, sir. Someone else is saying, God bless you mchungaji for the encouraging message of God during this time. In my first time to, it is my first time to listen to you from radio, I am encouraged in Jesus' name. Nimepokea kwa maombi ya toba, nimeza kuokoka leo. Naomba mungu wa nisaidie, kunisimamisha katika wokovu wangu. Siku zote za maisha yangu, I am Eliud Kimotai. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wherever you are, if you can give the Lord a shout of praise, because God is happening, God is happening, and Corona is this happening. <laughs> Corona is this happening, but God is happening. Oh, we give glory to God for those testimonies. Father, we thank you and honor you. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the salvation. We thank you for the infilling. Can you just imagine God filled people with the Holy Spirit 
as we were having service online kupitia radio na kupitia Facebook na wakajazwa Roho Mtakatifu kule manyumbani wakifuatilia na wengine kupona Oh we give glory to God because he is ever a faithful God he is always watching over his word to perform it and I have no doubt that today is your day wewe ambao unatusikiza pale nyumbani ama kwa gari ama mahali popote kwa mitandao na pia katika uh, redio ukaweza kupokea muujiza wako siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo na yale yote shetani alikuwa amekusudia kuhusu maisha yako na kukugandamiza hataona mapenzi yake kuhusu maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo haleluya thank you so much i quickly want to recognize some of the people that are already in naona ya kwamba wengi tayari wame tune in I may not be able to mention all of your names because naona ni wengi tayari na kuona pale Samuel Faith unasema awesome in service already today's impartation glory uh, blessed by praise and worship wonderful thank you thank you we have uh, Mutembe Nicholas you are saying that you are tuned already and you are glorifying God with us I see Priska Sam you are tuned from Nairobi Lovington God bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. We shall see you after the lockdown face to face, but right here we can always interact. Yes, bless Dennis. Yes, we need we need your Lord. You are saying uh, Daniel Kego you are tuned in. Getuma Mukathimo, you are saying you are watching from Nairobi. God bless you servant of God and happy birthday. Today is your birthday. That is um is it? Uh, yes, Getuma Mukadimo. Yes, exactly. Happy birthday. Today is your birthday. I celebrate with you and I recognize the great work that you're doing there. God bless you and say hi to your family. Blessed Florence, you are tuned in already in the service. James Nyamo, you are tuned and following. And uh, Kim Mose, you are tuned already. And uh, you're saying that I'm a living testimony. Indeed, you are. Another one, James Nyaga, you are tuned in. Diana McKenna, you are tuned in into Mao. Uh, Patrick Kimati Kobia, you are tuned in already. You are saying glory to God. Joan Ikwe, yes, you are tuned in. Gertrude uh, from Lovington, Nairobi. Keremi Morunge, uh, Makutano, closely following. Very, very important. Doris Gaki from Nairobi. Beatrice, Bet Beatrice, following from Meru. Martin Boring. You are following and tuned. Uh, just Fat Moro, Mororia. Dennis, again. Uh, Edmund Mwajele, exactly. Uh, Sam Prince, Monene. All of you, I see you. Daughter, my daughter there, Jane Mosheke in Meru Town. God bless you, Pastor Veronica, tune in. Uh, Peter Getonga, you are tuned in. All of you, I see you. Peace, Mugambi, Irene. Winfred Kenya, Charity Mutua. All of you, Nora Bombwa. David K. Riongo, Mutuma Utuwema, my son, Purity Mokiri, George Tosh, Emily Joy, and all of you, thank you so much for tuning in. Karibu, Kanisani, Kwa Ibada, Katika Mtandao, na Katika Radio, Ambako Mungu na Tembea, Ata Pasipo Kuonona, Uso Kwa Uso, Na God is not limited by distance. Now, please, welcome for the next few minutes. We'll be sharing here very, very important again. This is great, great gospel visioners, and this is Bishop Patrick Karyokin. Na tunendelea katika somo letu ama seminar mbo itendelea paka Friday. Na ile somo mbolo tukonalo ni the Passover wonders or understanding the Passover wonders. Ukumbuke ya kwamba wiki hii ni wiki yetu ya Passover. Uh, coming Friday will be the Good Friday. Sunday will be good uh, Easter Sunday and Easter Monday coming Monday. All this very, very important. Nani kwamba ata igawaji ato kutana makanisani, we will still be able to have the word of God come to us. God will still do what he has intended. And God will continually shape our lives and make us to be what he has designed. And it's going to be awesome. Now, I want you to follow these teachings because every time in the evening we'll do this. Tomorrow again. And then on Friday we shall have a very powerful communion service. Holy Communion Service utakula meza ya Mbwana ama utamega meza ya Mbwana hata ukua kula kula nyumbani kwako na itakuwa ya jabu sana. So want to continue where we left yesterday in this Passover wonders and one of the things that we were able to see we were able to see yesterday what 
the Passover are meant for the children of Israel. Kwa wao ilikuwa ni ile ya kuondoka judgment, a judgment ile ya wa Egypt uh, they were misly, ile judgment ama ile ghadhabu ya Bwana uh, to the children to the children of the Egyptians. But to the children of God it was a time for their freedom, their time of exception from the exemption from evil. It was a time for their release from the physical captivity in the land of Egypt. And it was a time for their restoration to the land of their forefathers, Father Abraham, Father Isaac, and Father Jacob. Na tukasema, kwa mkristo pia inamana sana. Kwa sababu pasaka kwa mkristo wa agano jipia siku ya leo, it means a lot that the Lord has released us, even exempting us from the evils of the time. The Passover, the evils, we are exempted from the evils of the time. Like now the evils that are happening today, Corona and the others, and many others that will come on the face of the earth. As a child of God, by Passover, you are exempted from the evils. It's also a time for, uh, for a Christian. It means that we have been released supernaturally uh, from the kingdom of darkness and from the powers of sin and demonic influences so that we can live for our God. Very, very important. It also means to the believer in the New Testament or in the New Covenant that we have been restored back to the kingdom of God and therefore we are no longer strangers, we are not foreigners, but we are fellow citizens. We were also able to see very important why Jesus qualified as the perfect sacrificial lamb of Passover. In those days, the sacrificial lamb that was going to be perfect for the Passover must be without any blemish. And Jesus was checked three times by Pilate, Pontius Pilate, and he declared three times, I find no fault. I find no fault with him. I find no fault with him. Crucify him. Today, I want us to go quickly now very, very important on what I'm calling as we still move on on Passover wonders and see Jesus who took our place so that we can take his place. Passover to the believer today also means Jesus took our place so that we can take his place. Very important. When we think about Passover and as we are celebrating and commemorating Passover ama Pasaka tunaweza kujua ya kwamba Yesu ambaye alichukua nafasi yetu ndio tukaweza kuchukua nafasi yake ya muhimu sana ya kwanza kabisa is that Jesus Christ he took our place of sin so we can take his place of righteousness by Passover to the believer today it means that Jesus took the place of our sin he took our place of sin so that we can take his place of righteousness. We are told there quickly in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 First Corinthians chapter, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 very important that now Jesus Christ was made sin. He was made sin. Jesus was made sin for us so that we can be made the righteousness of God. Jesus was made sin for us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. That Christ Jesus was made sin for us so that we can be made the righteousness of God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Can you just imagine? Remember that man that is born of any woman has fallen short, has sinned and has fallen short of the glory of God according to Romans chapter 3 verse 23. Every man and all men starting from the, from the, from the origin of Adam that all men have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God and there is none that is righteous. Now, Passover means 
that Jesus came not to be a sinner but to become sin for us so that we might become or be made the righteousness of God. Now, anytime I teach about righteousness, I always emphasize the very fact that righteousness is not what you do. Righteousness is something you are made because you are said very, very clearly there that for he has made him to be seen. And it's also very important to know that Jesus was not made a sinner. Some people misquote that scripture and say that he was made to become a sinner. He was not made a sinner. He was made to be seen for us so that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Very important. And righteousness is something we are made. And righteousness means having the right standing with God. Having the right standing with God. So Jesus was made or he took our place of sin so that we can partake or we can take his place of his righteousness. We are told in the book of Mark 15 verse 34 that when Jesus hung on the cross, Mark 15 verse 34, he cried with a loud voice that is in the ninth hour when he was about to give up the ghost and he cried, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakithani, which being interpreted means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You can just imagine. Now, I, last week I talked about the Trinity when we were talking about the Holy Spirit. We talked about the mystery of the Trinity, that God is one. And then, we have, in him we have God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the three are one, are unified. And there have never been any separation among, among them. But for the first time, when Jesus was made sin for us, then God the Father, who is so righteous to behold sin, he turned his face away from Jesus. And for the first time, Jesus felt the very challenge and the very impact of that disconnect. And he cried, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakidani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And this happened because of the sin of humanity. And this happened because of the sin of man that Jesus has been made sin so that we can partake his place of righteousness. Now, I want you to know that it's very, very important, especially in this time of celebrating Passover. Very, very important. And you need to ask yourself some questions. What have you done with the sacrifice that Christ has given or God has given of Jesus Christ becoming sin for us? What have you done? In fact, you will notice that it is not even about the sin of man that will make man to go to hell, but it is the very fact that the man did not take the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross and he has not applied or has not used or has not taken this privilege that we have that our sin now does not have to be upon us because Christ became sin so that we can be made the righteousness of God. Please pay attention to that. When we talk about Passover, we are reminded that Christ took our place of sin so that we can take his place of his righteousness. And if you are born again, you have become the righteousness of God. And I say it again, righteousness is not what you do. Righteousness is what you are made when you get saved. All those people that God saved on air and those that have been born again even for many years. I want you to know that now you are righteous because Jesus has made you righteous. And then he that is righteous lives inside of you. When you have received him, then you have no problem bringing forth the fruit of righteousness. Now you are able to bring forth the fruit of righteousness because you have been made righteousness of God. If the tree be righteous, 
the fruit will be righteous. Hallelujah. Number two, number two, Jesus took our place of sickness. When we talk about Passover, we are saying, we are seeing Jesus who took our place of sickness so that we can take the place of health. We are told again there quickly in the book of Isaiah 53, very important. Every one of you that is following, please pay attention because something good is happening right here. And sickness will have no place in your body. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 53, we see there, he says from verse 4, Surely he has borne our griefs. Now this is a, a messianic prophecy by Isaiah. Isaiah 53 verse 4, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. We thought that God was punishing him. But verse 5 says, But he was wounded, and that is for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. He took our place of pain, of sickness and disease. He took our diseases. He took our pains. We see that again in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2. Actually repeating the same verse 24. That by his stripes, by whose stripes we were healed. Jesus took away our sickness. He took away every sickness of mankind. Sicknesses of the past. Sicknesses of the present. And the sicknesses that will be. He took away our sicknesses. When they beat him the 39 stripes. As a child of God who believes in the Passover. And as we celebrate Passover. This Passover should not come to an end. Before your sickness come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is a time to celebrate. And to be reminded. That any sickness on your body. Is illegally planted. By the enemy the devil. You do not deserve to carry sickness and diseases. Because there is one who paid the price. That in nine stripes on his physical body. He took away your disease. Corona he took it away. Diabetes he took it away. Cancer he took it away. Disease of the bones, he took it away. Arthritis, he took it away. Whatsoever kind of complication of your body, Jesus, the same way he removed or he paid the price of our sin, give you, give you, aliweza kulipa garama, ndiyo tukaweza kuishi katika afya jema. Watu wengi hawana shida kuamini ya kwamba Kristo, alichukua dhambi zetu, ama alisulubiwa kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu, Watu wengi wanaamini hivyo lakini sio watu wote hata wale ambao wameamini wamekubali ya kwamba Yesu alichukua magonjwa yetu kupitia mapigo yake Kuna wengi ambao wakati wako na magonjwa na maradhi na maumivu wanasema ya kwamba kwa sababu ya mafunzo hitilafu wanafikiria kwamba Yesu ama Mungu anawafunza funzo fulani Now God can never use the weapon of the enemy to teach his children a lesson. He can never do that. Now the God who is holy. Because the Bible says. Far be it that God be wicked. God can never do wickedness. He cannot go corrupt. Yesu always wakaenda kolabo na shetani. Ati sasa ndi waku teach a lesson. Ati wanaenda kolabo. Ati sasa mungu. Ami onodea ni afadhali wakue kolabo na shetani. Because magonjo ni ya shetani. We are told in the book of Luke chapter 13 that there was a woman. A woman that was bent on her, on her body, her back. She could not lift up herself. Why? Because a spirit of infirmity was sitting upon her. A spirit of infirmity. And when Jesus came and it was on a Sabbath day. And Jesus was speaking, spoke to the woman and said, Woman, be thou loosed. And the leaders, the religious leaders, they said, 
how can you free her a time like now on a Sabbath? Jesus said, this daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for this long, is she not supposed to be free a day like today? So Jesus was teaching us that sicknesses are not God's will for God's people. In fact, for this reason, Jesus, the Son of God, was manifested to destroy the work of Satan. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. He went everywhere doing good, for God was with him. He healed all them that were sick. So, ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters, brethren, wherever you are, I wanted to know that Jesus paid the price for your health. You are not to carry sickness again. And that devil has lost the battle over your life. He has no legal ground again because you know that at Passover, Jesus took away our sickness when they gave him, gave him 39 stripes on his body. He was beaten for our healing. And that's why we are told in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1, who his own self bear our sins. Uh, yeah, we should be, that should be 1 Peter chapter 4, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Very important. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Kuona ya kwamba Christo ameteseka katika mwili wake basi jituike ama kujituika arm yourself kujituika na katika hiyo nia arm yourself with the same like mind that is he suffered for me I don't have to suffer for me I will not suffer what Christ suffered for me because affliction will not come the second time. It came the first time on him. It has no ground to come to me another time. I will not suffer what Christ has suffered for me. So we need to believe that. Remember, until you are taught, you cannot understand. Until you understand, you cannot believe. And it is unto you according to your faith. If you believe that Jesus took away your sickness and that upon your body, you are not supposed to carry disease. Until you believe it, the devil can keep on having party. But I have good news for you tonight. That devil that has been trying to afflict your body with disease and sickness, his time is out. The same way he has no power to put sickness in your life, disease to put sin in your life, he has no right to put sickness upon your body. The same way he has no power to put sin in your body. That devil has no power to put sickness upon your body. No matter what name they give to that sickness. No matter when the disease began. Whether it is a disease of 2020. Whether it is a disease of generations. In your family lineage. Kama ni magonjo ambayo ya nafuatana na damu ya kwenu. Kuna magonjo ambayo inabatana na watu rom chaf. Wa ugonjo wa flani anafuatana na watu wa jamii. Jesus Christ paid the price. And you ought to go free tonight. I declare your freedom in Jesus mighty name. Then number three. Jesus when we talk about Passover. We are talking about Jesus who took our place. So that we can take his place. Number three is the place of poverty. Jesus took our place of poverty so that we can take his place of wealth. We are told in the book of 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Jesus, hallelujah. I feel the power here. God's power is reaching you right now, wherever you are. Those that are following on Facebook, I want you to know distance is no challenge. There's no challenge in the spirit. And I'm speaking God's power upon your life. And I'm speaking God's grace upon your life. Na wale ambao nasikia pia katika radio, mkapokea miujiza yenu katika jina la Yesu Christo. Bible says, 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9, 
For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ama kwa sababu majua neema ya Yesu Christo. Bwana wetu. That though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. Ingawaji alikuwa tajili. Kwa sababu yenu akafanyika maskini. That ye through his poverty might become rich. Kwa mba nyinyi kupitia umaskini wake tukafanyika matajiri very important poverty anything called poverty even poverty of finances and material things anything called poverty anything called lack remember what Jesus said that the spirit of the Lord is upon me has anointed me he said to preach the gospel to the poor anything called poverty whether you want to call it spiritual poverty or mental poverty or financial poverty any kind of poverty Jesus he took our place of poverty even though he was rich remember Jesus was rich in a way that you cannot describe because he was God he is God and he will forever be God He's, he was there in the beginning he's the one that made the beginning He's the one that made the universe. So you cannot, there's no way to describe about his wealth or his riches. Yet, he became poor so that through his poverty, we might become rich. I take the place of Jesus Christ. And remember this happens after you have believed in him. You are not permitted to continue in your position of poverty. As a child of God, you are to transcend and go to the place of Christ and take his place of riches and wealth that shall be so in your life. No matter where you were born, no matter what you have experienced until now, no matter the circumstances of your family, I declare that you take the place of Christ, the place of wealth and abundance in all things, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are told in Romans chapter 8 verse 32 that seeing that he did not spare his only son Romans 8 verse 32 that he did not spare his only son how will he not also bless us with him with all things freely that he never spared his son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not also with him freely give us all things he will give us all things he will give us all things he will freely give us all things right now maybe i'm speaking to you you are saying because of the situation that is all over the world you don't know what is going to happen about your life i know what will happen in your life that christ will happen in your life may you take the place of christ you will not die of hunger. You will not die of lack. You will not lack what it, it, you require for this life. I declare abundance and the grace of God upon your life. You will know that Christ has taken the, your place of poverty. Because throughout this season, he shall fully and miraculously supply to you. If you believe it, then you will say a big amen. So Jesus took our place of poverty that we may take his place of wealth. Oh, hallelujah. If you're born again, you're a potential millionaire. You just need to go and manifest. Oh, yes. I say again, if you're born again, if you have Christ inside of you, you have what it takes to beat the poverty of this world. No matter where you are born, no matter what has happened in your life, and that is good news, and that is wonderful, and that is the will of God, because above all, I wish that you may prosper and be in good health. That is God's will for your life. Oh, let them shout and let them magnify the Lord. Let them say continually, the Lord be magnified. That delights in the prosperity of his servant. Number four, the last one. For now. Number four, the last one for now. Oh, hallelujah. For those that are joining us. We are talking about the Passover wonders and particularly today we are looking on Jesus who took our place 
so that we can take his place. Number four, we see Jesus who became a son of man so that the son of man can become the son of God. Of course, Jesus, the son of God, became son of man so that man, the son of man, can become the son of God. You can see the interchange. Jesus, the son of God, became the son of man so that the son of man can take or can become the son of God. Now, let, let me answer a very important question right now. A very important question. Now, when God made man and put him in the garden and put him on the face of the earth, the Lord gave the man what it took to be in authority and to fully manage, to be fully in charge of all the earthly affairs. In Psalms 115 verse 16, 115, Psalms, the book of Psalms 115 verse 16, that the heavens and the heavens belong to God. But the earth he has given to the sons of men. So whatever that is happening on the face of the earth. If there is somebody that is supposed to be answerable. Is a son of men. Or children of men. Sometimes we are busy blaming God. That Lord, Lord why are you doing things on the face of the earth. He has already given the earth to the sons of men. And by the way, you need to know all the chaos we find on the face of the earth. It is not God to be blamed. It is man to be blamed. Because he fully gave charge and control to man on the face of the earth. Just the same way that man has no business to determine what happens in heaven. We are not to determine what happens in heaven. Because the heavens and the heavens belong to God. It is God to mind the business of heaven. But the business of earth. We have been given the privilege, the authority, the power. The what it takes. Everything that man ever needs. To be fully in charge of earth. Has been given by man. So anything that is out of order on the face of the earth. Blame man for it. Are you talking of disorganized climate patterns blame man for that are you talking about some animals that have gone to extinction ask man for that problem are you talking about the chaos, the poverty the violence that is happening on the face of the earth God did not make any bullets it is man that has made bullets and bombs God has not made any knife to kill a life so if there be any chaos on the face of the earth, it is the man to be blamed. The son of man to be blamed. Because man was given full charge on the face of the earth. Now listen to this. Who is man? Man is a spirit who carries a physical body or who is carried by a physical body. Because man is a spirit, has a soul and then he lives in the body. And if a spirit does not have a physical body it is not permitted to transact on the face of the earth that's why even when the devil came in the garden of Eden he did not come as a spirit he had to get a physical body and because he could not at that particular time use the first class of all the creation on the face of the earth he went to the second class we are told that the serpent was very crafty like clever than all the creation after man. So Satan entered serpent looking for a physical body that was just inferior than that one of man. And that is how he came as a serpent with a physical body. Even Satan could not come as a spirit and begin to command Eve. I want you to eat the fruit. He had to look for a physical body. Transactions on the face of the earth have been given to men. Spirit with a physical body. If you do not have a physical body, you have no business on the face of the earth. That's why when somebody dies and he loses, his spirit loses contact 
with a physical body, he ceases to be and he cannot transact on the face of the earth. So even God, after he instituted that kind of an order, he did not break his own order and his own way of doing things. After man fell and the man now is on the face of the earth and he had given him all the control, even God himself had to look for a physical body to come and redeem man from the same platform. Hallelujah. Are you saying an amen, whatever you are? Say a big amen. I can see you. I can see many of you here. Thank you for those that are saying amen. That's very, very important. That even God himself, Jesus could not come as a spirit. That's why he looked for a body. And he was born of a virgin Mary. And Jesus acquired a human body. So that he can be able to transact on the face of the earth. Because earth is given to spirits that have a body, a physical body. And Jesus had to come on the same platform. The same platform. The same level. The same measure. The same man that Satan had defeated. So that the devil will not lift up his head and say, hey, you have played it foul. Unaona kama, unaona kama mungu, mungu wagetuma yesu kama roho. Alafu sasa Yesu ampige kofi shetani na mtoe katika ulimwengu akiwa kama roho. Shetani angeinua mkono asema, "Hey, you are breaking your own rules. You say that you have given earth to sons of men. Why are you coming as a spirit as a god and you are imposing authority? Then God would have ceased to be God because he's breaking his own laws. Why God is God is that he has put his laws and his orders and principles. He does not even break them. Because his own covenant shall he not break. And he shall not alter the words from his mouth. So when he said, I give out to the sons of men, he made so. And that's why it was important for Jesus to come in a physical body. And become a son of man. So that he can be able to free the fallen son of man. Jesus took the place. There was a, an exchange. A divine exchange. Let the son of God become a son of man. Let him carry a physical body. Let him come and carry a body just like the sons of men. Let him walk on the face of the earth. Let him eat food like the children, like the sons of men. Let him sleep like sons of men. Let him tire like the sons of men. Let, let him be tempted like the sons of men. Let him go through what the sons of men go through so that he can relinquish his position of the son of God so that he can invite the sons of men to become sons of God. Hallelujah! We are told that in Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, as we begin to close, Philippians chapter 2, very important. Oh, I love scriptures. I don't know how to preach without scriptures. If you remove scriptures, I have no word. Oh, hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2, very important. Philippians chapter 2, Oh, hallelujah. That the sons of men might become sons of God. But he made himself, talking of Jesus, but he made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Yesu akafanyika amaka akapewa maumbile ya monadam. And being found in the fashion as man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He took the form of God and he took the form of man. Then he invited the sons of men so that they can take the form of God. I'll show you. Oh, hallelujah. So when we talk about Passover, Tunapongea mambo ya pasaka Tunaongea mambo ya yesu Ambe alichukua umbo la mwanadamu Dio mwanadamu akachukua umbo la mungu Then we are told in John chapter 1 
John chapter 1. Very important. John chapter 1 and verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So the son of God has taken away this, his, the, his form and has invited now the sons, he has taken the form of man and has invited the sons of men so that they can become the sons of God. If you believe in him, you become a son of God. If you are born again, there is no doubt that you are a son of God. And this is a great mystery. This is a great mystery. Let me tell you, it is a great mystery that God through Jesus Christ has invited us to become the sons of God. To become this. It means a lot. Can you just imagine? That is a man. Is now a son of God. And sometimes. Tunatumia hiyo maneno. Ama hayo majina. Na tusiweze kupata ile meaning. Ama maana. What it means. That now you are a son of God. That now you are a son of God. He said. Romans chapter 8. Verse, oh, this is powerful. This is powerful. Look at Romans chapter 8 now. Romans chapter 8 and verse 17. Oh, Rabba Shaka Tabagada. Marabba Shaka Tara Bradadius. Ramahanda Baresha Taylor Bradelus. We can start from verse 16. Today we are going to pray. We shall have a moment of prayer. And I know that God is going to do something in your life. Romans 8 verse 16 and 17. The Spirit himself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then hairs, hairs of God and joint hairs with Christ. If so, be that we suffer with him that we may also be glorified together. So, if you are a son of God, then you have become a hair. Yani kama umefanyika mwana wa mungu. Umefanyika muridhi pamoja na kristo. Unamuridhi mungu. Unaridhi mungu. Pamoja na kristo. Kwa sababu umefanyika mwana wa mungu. Kumanisha ya kwamba. Just, just like in the physical. Just like in the physical. If, you are going, if my children are going to be hairs of me. Then that means what I have. They can have it rightfully. Now we are the sons of God because Jesus has become, became the son of man. Then that means we can hear God. We can inherit God. Can you just imagine? Inheriting God. Whatever God has becomes yours. Whatever God has becomes yours. Now tomorrow I will show you about seven things that we have inherited. They belong to you as a son of God because Jesus became a son of man. Thank you, Jesus. Behold what manner of love that he has given unto us that we should be called sons of God. Kufanyika mwana wa mungu siku sema tu inamanisha mambo mengi sana. Na kama hujajua haya, you cannot benefit. But now we know. Unapotembea unapo kumbana na hali za maisha ukijua ya kwamba uko na Kristo ndani yako ujua ya kwamba wewe sio mtu wa kawaida tena you are a son of god in fact the bible says that the creation the whole creation is now waiting for the manifestation of the sons of god let me show you something as we close and pray now we are in the time when the creation is waiting for the sons of god how ambao yesu alifanyika mwana wa adam now the whole creation has been crying and groaning and saying when shall we have the manifestation of the sons of God and there is no better time for the manifestation of the sons of God like in the time of challenges and crisis this is a time for the sons of God to show up this is a time for the sons of God to manifest and then the creation which has been crying and groaning 
shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. The creation, the whole of creation is crying, looking for the manifestation of the sons of God. If you are born again, you are a son of God. Some of you listening to me right now and you are born again. You are the one that God has intended to bring solutions even to some of the crises the world is facing right now. I have no doubt that God is looking for his sons even at a time like now who are in the medical field to bring about solution to the world. Just like Joseph stood up as a son of God in the Old Testament and was able to bring about a solution in the land of Egypt. If you are born again, know that you have more than just going to heaven. You have an assignment. You have a charge to bring about the order and the kingdom of God in the present world. Nandiyo sababu ya kwamba, kama umiokoka tafadhali, usifadhaike na usistushwe na watu ambao wanakejeli, watu ambao wameokoka na makanisa na mapastas. Lazima ukasimama wima na ukatetea wakovu wako na ukasimama vizuri na ukaweza kualao mungu akutumie ukaweza kuleta the order of God because you are a son of God hallelujah I see great things happening oh yes I see great things happening I see great things happening in your life in the mighty name of Jesus now mahali popote ulipo ningeteka ya kwamba kama uneza kusimama utasimama utaweza kuomba kwa dakika mbili Alafu ndaweza kufanya declaration hapa na utapokea miujiza ukiwa kule nyumbani na mahali popote ambako unasikiza wale ambao wanaendesha boda boda hapa Meru na kwingineko na mnasikia sauti zetu I want you to know that you can receive your miracle I want you to know that God can touch your life and something great is going to happen Number one, I want us to thank God that he gave us his son Jesus Christ who took our place that we may take his place. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God. Thank God. Thank God for Jesus. That he gave us his only son. Who took our place so that we can take the place of God. We can take his place. His place of righteousness. His place of health. His place as children of God and sons of God. We thank you father. We give you the praise. We give you adoration. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you the praise. We give you adoration. We give you the praise. We give you honor. We give you the praise. We give you adoration. We give you praise. We give you adoration. We give you honor. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Jesus who came to take our place that we may take his place in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, we declare and declare that we take our rightful place that Christ has provided in the mighty name of Jesus, the place of righteousness. We declare that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Almighty Lord, we thank you and glorify your name. We declare that he has taken our place of sickness when he was beaten that in nine stripes on his body and that Lord we may receive our healing and our health and freedom and deliverance from every sickness from every disease from every infirmity from every affliction by whose stripes we were healed in the mighty name of Jesus Oh, mighty Lord, we declare that Jesus Christ who was afflicted, he was afflicted on our behalf so that we may not be afflicted. And therefore, we denounce as we declare, We announce and declare that every demonic attack, every demonic affliction, has no power over our lives, our families, our children, our country, our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare our freedom. Satan, you have no right, you have no authority. Satan, you have no power over our lives. You have no power over that family right now. You cannot afflict them with poverty. Hauta wanyanyasa tena katika umaskini na kukosa. Hauta wanyanyasa tena wote ambao wanaskia katika magonjwa na maradhi. Ninafungua sasa nikisema ya kwamba maisha yao yamefunguliwa, maisha yao yameachiliwa, maisha yao yamekobolewa, wakaweza kupokea uponyaji. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
I judge every spirit of infirmity. I judge every spirit of sickness and disease. I speak to your body right now. Sasa hapa unanisikiza ukiwa kule nyumbani ama kwingineko. Uko mgonjwa mahali popote. Unaweza kuwekelea mkono kama unaweza. Umesikia ushuhuda ya kwamba hapa tumesikia last week. Huyo ambaye akiwa kule nyumbani alisikiza injili kupitia redio na alikuwa na growth ama uvimbe ambao ulikuwa na uchungu lakini bwana kamguza ninatangaza hata hapa siku ya leo wote ambao unanisikia sasa hivi kule manyumbani unapoguza mahali pa ugonjwa sasa hivi pokea nguvu za bwana sasa hivi za uponyaji katika jina la Yesu pokea nguvu za uponyaji sasa hivi pokea nguvu za uponyaji sasa hivi pokea uponyaji wako i speak and declare healing upon your body in the name of Jesus i speak to your stomach kora basheka taya rima hazeka talabashia kora basheka talaba magonjo ya tumbo yanaisha sasa hivi magonjo ya tumbo yanamalizika sasa hivi magonjo ya mkongo yanamalizika sasa hivi na unapata nafu katika jina la Yesu asante bwana asante bwana we thank you Jesus amen and amen Haleluya. Kuna yule ambaye uko hapo ungetaka kumpokea Yesu Kristo kuwa bwana wako. Ungetaka siku ya leo kapokea wokovu wa Yesu. Ukapokea uzima wa milele. Oh yes, Yesu anakupenda sana. Jesus loves you so much. That's why he died on the cross. That's why we are talking about Passover. There is no greater thing than Jesus coming to die on the cross. There is no greater event in the whole of the universe like this one of Jesus coming to die for man and to redeem man from his sin and from his bondage. Na mahali popote ulipo unaweza kuokoka sasa hivi. Na kuna mtu anasema ya kwamba kwanza wacha kwanza niache pombe alafu nikuja kuokoka. Hauna nguvu ya kuacha pombe bila Kristo. Kuna mtu anasema ya kwamba kwanza niache sigara alafu nije nikaokoka. Hawezi ukaacha sigara na nguvu zako mwenyewe. Ni Yesu Kristo akiwa ndani yako anatoa maisha ya uchafu. Anatoa maisha ya pombe na sigara na addictions anazitoa na kusafisha na kutakaza. Analeta wokovu ndani yako. Analeta utakazo ndani yako. Anatoa kiu ambao ni ya pombe na vitu zingine zote alafu anakupatia kiu ya neno lake na uwepo wake. Mahali popote sasa hivi utarudia nyuma yangu ukaweza kumpokea Kristo kama bwana wa maisha yako. Bwana Yesu nakuja kwako siku ya leo na kupokea uwe mwokozi na bwana wa maisha yangu. Nimepokea wokovu na maisha ya milele. Nimepokea kipawa ya upendo, upendo wako ambao ni wa milele. Nimekubali ya kwamba Yesu ulikufa na nimeamini ya kwamba ulifufuka ndio nikaweza kuokoka. Asante Yesu kwa sababu ya kufa kwa niaba yangu. Ulikufa ndiyo nisife. Yesu na kuamini niongoze nitawale. Na kile ya kwamba nimetakasika na maisha mapya yameingia ndani yangu. Mimi ni kiumbe kipya nimeokoka. Amen. Bas kama umefanya hilo ombi as simple as it may be I want us, I want you to write back to me kupitia zile contact zote tuko nazo wale wako on Facebook na wale wako katika radio I want you to communicate to me let me know that you have received Jesus Christ so that we can keep on praying for you and give you some more direction on how to be strong in the Lord and God is going to do something great in your life it's going to be awesome remember you can always communicate to us kupitia namba ya Safaricom 0706 127 910 Unaweza kuniandikia ujumbe mfupi pale useme ya kwamba ni nani umeokoka na jambo kama hilo 0706127910 ya Airtel ni 0733788188 Airtel again i read 0733788188 Unaweza kuweza pia kuongea pamoja nasi kupitia email you can write an email to us through Patrick ggv at gmail.com or ggv.ministries at yahoo.com then i want 
we want us to, be, to believe together and declare a covering over this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we speak your power over the entirety of this nation, Kenya. We declare your power, especially at this difficult time of the crisis and the scourge of the coronavirus. We are declaring that, Lord, that those that have been found infected, they shall quickly receive their healing and recover in the name of Jesus. We send your healing power to the facilities where they are. And we are declaring healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Even those that may be infected and yet not discovered, we are declaring your power in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare Corona has no power over this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that are involved in helping Wananchi, we are declaring a covering. The health workers, the doctors, the government, the police, and all the bodies and agents that are involved in combating this situation, I declare a covering. We declare supernatural help in the mighty name of Jesus. We turn down every negative word and every evil imagination. Imaginations of men, evil schemes of men, we turn them down and we nullify them by the blood of Jesus. Because Bible says, and we overcame him, Satan, by the blood of the Lamb. We overcame, we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. And we declare Kenya shall be saved. Salvation, deliverance of this nation from the scourge and all the nations of the world, there shall be deliverance. We thank you, Father. Continent of Africa is covered. Continent of America is covered. Asia is covered. Europe is covered. Australia is covered. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. And we honor you. We see victory in Jesus' great name, greatest name. We declare amen and amen. Thank you, every one of you, for joining us. Wale ambao meungana pamoja nasi, mungu awe pamoja nanyi. Ukumbuke ya kwamba, tunaendelea kusema ya kwamba, tunaendelea kwa kumbusha. It is faith and science. Endelea kuosha mikono yako. Endelea kusanitize mikono yako. Endelea kuweka social distance. Endelea ku funika mdomo na funika mdomo <laughs> endelea kufunika mdomo wakati unastahili kufunika mdomo na Mungu awe pamoja nanyi na uwe na wakati mwema we hautakufa utaishi kutangaza wema wa Bwana utaishi maisha yako yote mwaka huu utakuwa bado wa baraka wewe uta, utatimiza hatima zako utafikisha ambako Mungu anataka ukafikisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo umebarikiwa until i come up again on your way Tomorrow is a great day again. Then I want you to follow. Then on Friday, we shall have a powerful Holy Communion service. Remember, you can always, you can always get in touch with me through the contacts that we have given you. God bless you. Thank you so much. And have a great time. And keep it safe. Na ukai nyumbani. Na ukumbuke ya kwamba usirandirade usiku. Asante sana. God bless you.